So we're here at the example table, and in this video we're going to look at an example of finding the volume of a rotation. In particular, we're going to find the volume obtained by rotating around the y-axis, the figure bounded by y equals x squared over 4, x equals 0, and y equals 9. So, as I usually say, we don't need to graph this, but when we can, it's worth doing. So, y equals x squared over 4, it's a parabola, so it looks, I don't know, something like this. And when we rotate it around the y-axis, we end up with this bowl-like shape. But remember, this is filled in. We're finding the volume inside here. So, one thing to note is that we're not rotating this around the y-axis, uh, excuse me, around the x-axis, we're rotating it around the y-axis. So our radius, remember we're looking for a of x, so we have some cross-section here, and the area of this thing is a, oh I shouldn't say a of x, if we're rotating around the y-axis, we're going to need a in terms of y. So we're going to want, in particular, radius in terms of y. So this radius here is x. So if we're rotating around the y-axis and we're given this function y equals x squared over 4, the first thing we're going to need is not x in terms of y, but y in terms of x. So this thing, if we solve, we get 4y equals x squared, so x equals 2 times the square root of y. And because of the region we're working in, we don't need to worry about plus or minus. We get x equals 2 times the square root of y. So a of y then is pi r of y squared. We could also write pi times x squared. And this is pi times 4y. Now, we also have to figure out our limits of integration, and we're rotating around the y-axis, so our area function is in terms of y, and we're going to be integrating in terms of y. This y equals 9 tells us the upper limit of integration, and since we're starting at x equals 0, which is the y-axis, we're starting at this point, which is also y equals 0. So, we're going to integrate from 0 to 9, a of y dy, so 4 pi y dy. And from this we get 2 pi y squared evaluated between 0 and 9. When we plug 0 in for y we get 0, so we don't have to worry about that. So we get 2 pi times 81, which is 162 pi units cubed. 